Hi, welcome to Best of Coffee. I am your host, Jeff Kleinard, and this is my friend, Dickie Copeland. Bonjour. She'll be speaking French for us today because we're covering the French roast. I couldn't find an actual French person, so I just found my friend who took French back in high school. Thank you, Dickie. And so we'll be going over the French roast today. Before we get started, Dickie, how would the French describe their coffee? Uh, beaucoup de pantalon avec croque monsieur. I, know, I didn't take French, but I would assume that would translate to a very dark roast, very hearty, and something that they actually would start their days off with, with just a little bit of pastry, not much of a breakfast besides that. So, uh, Dickie, why don't you go ahead and take a sip and tell me what you think. And what do you think? <laughs> I'll taste it for myself so I can be able to translate for you. Yeah, it's a sharp taste and it's uh, kind of dark, like we've been saying, so we're not lying. And, oh, you know what I'm really dying to know? Dickie, how do you order coffee in French? Je veux. Uh, okay. Okay, um, I, don't speak, I don't speak French, but I, I like grilled cheese, and I know how to say grilled cheese in 12 different languages. I'm pretty sure you just said grilled cheese at some point in that. No. Do you, are you even speaking? Do you even know how to speak French? Je ne sais pas. Okay, cut it. All right, now it's time for a coffee quick tip. We're going to show you how to make some coffee by using a French press. A French press is a very fancy way of making coffee. Stupid Americans. Dickie, you're from Newport Beach. This is the main cylinder. You're going to put the grounds, the water, and finally make all of the coffee in this particular cylinder. Start off by measuring the amount of grounds that you want to put into it. So we've already done that, as you can see here. Then bring some water to a boil in a kettle or a pot or a pan or however you want to do it. And we've already done that as well. Yes, you have done a discotheque. Dickie, you just said discotheque. That's not even applicable to what we're talking about. Quick, monsieur. Add the water to the cylinder. Yeah. You know, you sound like the, the chef in Little Mermaid. I just want to say that. Once you add the water to the cylinder, let the coffee and the water sit together for three minutes. It's been three minutes. The grounds are sufficiently infused into the water, and now you just press down with the filter. Hence the name French press. And then just like a normal cup of coffee, you can just start pouring and serving. Dickie, you don't even smoke. <coughs> Thanks for watching Best of Coffee. I am your host, Jeff Kleinard. And if you want to pick up your own French roast, go ahead and check out your local grocery store or Pete's Coffee, Starbucks, Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf, any major chain store should have them. And next week, I promise I will have a better expert than I did today. Dickie, you told me you spoke French. You asked me in the middle of a nap. Yeah, but you signed a contract saying you spoke French. It was on a pink post-it. I didn't say it was a binding contract, I just said it was a contract, okay? You and those pink heart post-its. They had flair to my message. You remember it better if it's written on a pink heart post-it.